Hello, everybody. CLGFC. It's time for another episode. And what do we've got in terms of news? Nothing serious, really. Just a few scouting reports. Uh, an update on the scouts here. Uh, you know, nothing too serious. I mean, the scouting is coming along okay. Um, a left back is mainly, I think, what we could use. Um, but a lot of the high recommendations that have come in have not really been for left back. A lot of defenders on the right-hand side and strikers up front is what we got, including a recommendation from uh, for a player at Guernsey. But, um, yeah, look, not bad, <clears throat> all things considered. Um, if we do go to scouting real quick uh, and just look at scouted players... And sort by that wreck. It is, uh, we got one here in James Dyson we might go for. Um, if I go over here to the scout report, they say is some doubts, but it may be worth tracking a player, even though he's highly recommended. There's still 19 areas we've yet to discover, though. The knowledge level is really low, so we're going to put the scout on him because I really still want that left back, like, uh, we're going to scout him for three months and see how he does. Uh, Ryan Alderton over at Boodle, who are over in the Northwest County's Premier Division. Um, he's also come in. And if we look at the scout report, he's gotten a great recommendation. We're only also 29% for him scouted. So let's go back there real quick and make sure that our scouts... Also start to scout him for three months. And we'll see what we can do in terms of there. But if you look at the squad overall, when we go into the squad, uh, you can see Stephen Birmingham's down here as our current left back. And he's not very highly recommended by the side. He's also a little bit awkward right now as uh, <clears throat> a fullback, which is what we'd want him. Um, you know, Snicky is a little ineffectual as a as a complete striker, a more defensive striker is what uh, they're comfortable with, but we'll get him into the role. Ferial's coming along with the uh, <clears throat> attacking midfielder in support, dropping back deeper to collect the ball. And then obviously Aaron Davies has work to do as well. Um, Dennis Powell could get a little bit more used to being a fullback as well. Jack Lemon is more used to being a central defender. Uh, he's really getting there. Hyde's getting there as well as uh, the ball-winning midfielder, which is what we want. So, uh, but there's your stats, by the way. Sneaky three of four appearances, four goals, 8.33. He's coming and blitzed the average rating, as you can see. Jack and I are holding it down pretty well <clears throat> uh, in central midfield. And uh, Birmingham, though, to his credit, is having a pretty good, he's in good form, 7.42 in his last five. He's also got a 7.29 overall this season, which is one of the higher ratings. So, good to see. Averio also doing well. Aaron Davies has got six goals in 17 games he's played so far. So, that's pretty phenomenal stuff. Spaps, though, has been really the one that you would be telling all the grandkids about. Eight goals. Has a ton of assists as well this season so far. Five or six assists, I should say, across all competitions. Eight goals. So, looking for more from Spaps. But, it is Mid-Sussex uh, Mid Football League Division 9. We are 25 points. We are eight points clear. We are playing Cuckfield Rangers development side <clears throat> today. They... Recently had a chance to climb further up the table, but I believe they 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 had a 2-2 draw versus AFC Uckfield under 21s, who is quite far down the table. It's a pretty bad draw. They they Cuckfield actually led in that game, two to one, and they gave up the the lead at the end. So you know they could have been on 17 points. Really, Preston Crawley United and AFC Bolnor right now. Uh, they would, you know, goal difference would have had them third behind AFC Bolnor, who have jumped to second place after we defeated Crawley United in our last game. 
but let's uh, <clears throat> let's get into it. Let's get into the game. So we'll apply the advice that Barry Lookman is giving us. <clears throat> and we want to tell the players. I want you to pick off, pick up exactly where you left off last time because uh, that was fantastic. So we are underway here at the GG Arena in Linfield with Cutfield Rangers Development visiting CLG FC. And it's bull early on. And they give the ball over to Ferriel. Spaps has got it from Spaps. Going to give it back to Ferriel here. Ferriel might have options through the middle of the field. He's going to go for the Davies who gets the ball. Sticky is... Well, it's actually Davies who was offside. He was offside coming back on. And that play will die. Free kick for CLG. Oh, Jack Lemon is going to find Powell. Can he keep it in? Yes, the ball goes back in the center. But it's, it's headed out by Richardson, and it'll be a corner. Well, that ball was a pretty good corner. It goes out for a throw in them. Only other game is Co Crawley Cobras 3 versus AFC Bolnor. So if Crawley Cobras can win and we win, we'll be 11 points. We'll, we'll be 10 points clear. So we'll see how they go. It is another corner, and I get to it, but <clears throat> unfortunately it is wide. That is the end of the attack, so... Here's Davies trying to beat his man on the left, does so. Cuts it back for Haverio. He's kind of out of room there, Davies. Back to Hyde in central midfield. Going to send the Spaps in on the right. Spaps collects the ball. Spaps with a good touch. Spaps back across goal, but it, it goes out for a corner. Here's a corner that's not very well taken. And Hands will just clear it downfield. So early looks for CLG. We have early looks and now it's going to be Cuckfield Rangers on the attack here. Bowles got it. There comes the cross in. It's a good header by Powell. Spaps trying to get to it, but it's hands instead that will knock it down for Green. Green on the left-hand side, back for hands. Pressure on the ball, not going to do a sneak. He's coming into pressure. Chapman here, but it goes to uh, Brockley and Par Packham eventually will send it wide. That is going to be a goal kick. Next highlight has Cuckfield with the ball to start. Green here kicks it ahead. It's going to find its way to Peckham. Is that Peckham? Uh, and the ball going forward, but it will be run down by me. Don't give the ball up. Don't give the ball up. And it's going to be Peckham. Or is it Packham uh, who shoots it wide? Cuckfield with a bit of bit of pressure here. It's a good cross, and Powell gets to it. Header coming back from hands, but it goes wide. And that will be a CLG goal kick. So three corners of CLG, nothing for Cuckfield, but they've had pressure. They've had a clear-cut chance. Go awry. The only chance so far here is Richardson to try and knock this down. He sends it back to Plant, who will knock it forward. Jack heads it, but nobody picks it up. And now Packham could be through. Jack trying to get back here. Jack knocks it free, and he just keeps it in. And he's going to give it back to Freddy. Friendly Freddy, who oh, is going to boot it upfield. Sticky there. Heads it forward. No one's behind him, though. He could have, or they could have just settled the ball, I should say, uh, as Packham is coming back on the left-hand side, and he is off sides. And I'll end the play. Green with a yellow card for Cuckfield. Have to be careful. Cross coming in for the free kick. It's knocked up, and it goes out of play. It'll be a goal kick. Powell will bring the ball in for Spaps. Spaps is running out of room. 
gets it back to Hyde. Oh, Hyde with the through ball for Snicky. Can they score here? Snicky gives it back to Ferriel. Ferriel runs it down. Ferriel's got one on the left-hand side. It's Davies. Davies, did he stay on side is the question. It looks like he did. Crush comes in, but it's blocked out for a corner. Powell to take. It's a good corner, and it's up for Lemon, but it's just gone over the bar. Knocked on by myself towards the far post. Jack was there, but it sailed over the bar, and it remains scoreless. Here's Broccoli now. Well, he manages to get the cross in, and it goes out of play for a corner. comes in and Freddie has it. Thirty three minutes in. No score still in either game. It's headed down for Pack and Pack him over to Broccoli. Pack him trying to get back towards the center. There's space there. They tried to get it press and pack him. Tried to get it on goal as well, but it went wide. So a half chance there for uh, Cuckfield Rangers development. Doesn't fall their way. Quite good pressure here from Cuckfield. Ball going to go back to Plant. Cuckfield looked to build again. Ball coming out from Plant. Knocked down in midfield by myself, but it is going to fall to Cuckfield. Now out wide, Bull is there. Can he put the cross? He actually looks like he went for a shot maybe, but it just sails way wide, and it'll be a goal kick. <laughs> so. Here's the ball back in the box. Ferrell there, the header, but it's soft enough for Plant to handle without much difficulty. Birmingham on the right has it for Davies. Davies knocks it forward. Snicky is not center. He was ready for the head on, but instead Davies puts it out towards center. And now Lemon will knock it down. Ferriel here with the ball in midfield, looking to find Spaps. Spaps to hold up play. Finds Snicky. Very good ball. Snicky in tons of space. They're running forward with the ball. They have one on the right hand side. That's Spaps. But they have one on the left hand side now. That's Davies. And Davies is tripped in the box. Snicky with the shot, but it's tipped over the bar. A half chance for CLG there, and it goes out for the corner. Here's Davies to take it. Near post, and it's punted out by hands. Ball will come out towards the midfield area. This is going to be Powell that takes it. Powell looking for his options here. What is he going to be able to do? And he is going to try for Birmingham on the run, but it's not going to happen. I'll knock it down, but it doesn't fall to anybody, so Chapman <coughs> will pick it up. And now Cuckfield are free to come the other way. Here's Bull trying to find the through ball for Broccoli, but looks like I have that chase down. Goes back to Freddy. Now CLG free to build. Freddy finding Davies forward. Knocked down for Haverio. Haverio looking for Ferriel. Ferriel has got one on the left-hand side, but Ferriel knocks it to Snicky. Snicky could be in for Spaps. I think the flag might go up here, and it will. Smaps is off sides, and that is the end of the play. Green on a yellow will resume play here for Cuckfield Rangers. Pack them to Broccoli very quickly. And Broccoli, the ball's given back to hands. Back for Broccoli. Oh, Haverio knocks it free. Now Hyde will collect it. Hyde for Powell. What can CLG do with this? is off sides again. A high line there from Cuckfield. Dragging Snicky offside. Snicky now with a ball here. 44 minutes into the affair. Snicky's got one on. He's got two. two uh, there's two on the right. There's Powell going in. It's knocked back for Hepworth. Knocked down for Spaps. And into Snicky. Spaps shoots it. And it's just wide. Wow. Spaps knocked it down for Snicky. They took a shot. It deflected back to Spaps. And his shot trickles wide. Stoppage time. A half chance again for CLG. Stoppage time here. The throw. Hyde knocks it free. It comes to Haverio. Haverio trying to get rid of it and gives it back to myself. Now here's me. Trying to find the through ball. And Mike to, to Snicky. Snicky here 
is closed down pretty quick. Davies will send the ball out to the right-hand side, but Birmingham is not quick enough to get it. Ball goes out. That will be halftime here at GG Arena. It is nil-nil. <clears throat> Keep going out there and you could still win. That's what I would say. So, nil-nil. Not much to really... Five shots off target for Cuckfield. But they had good possession, 47%. That might be a little concern. Given we're a possession-based team. That's a really good ball from Snicky. Out to Spaps. Spaps can he get the cross in now. He's double teamed. Spaps somehow gets the cross in. And it falls to Davies. And Davies has scored the lead goal in the opening 30 seconds of the first of the second half. Spaps has put in a blinder of a cross. And Davies with the trailing run. It missed the keeper. Plant absolutely fanned at it. And Davies punishes him for it. CLG lead 1-0. Update on the, uh, well, there is no update on Crawley Crobos and Baldorm, so it remains CLG with three points right now, and that could be enough to send them top by 10 if results hold. Powell now with the throw in, 1-0 CLG, Ferial with it. He's going to have to give it back, Powell. There's plenty of space in midfield, but he tries to cross it. It will be knocked down. Haverio will have it. Finds Ferriol yet again. It has to come back to Haverio. Haverio has one on the far right-hand side here, but instead chooses Birmingham on the left. Birmingham first time cross, and it falls to Snicky, but Richardson will be there to knock it away. And now Mott will clear it upfield. It's going to fall. Oh, and uh, Crudelli, the substitute offside here for Cookfield Rangers development. Looks like I'm going to restart play. <coughs> one nothing CLG here. Oh, that's a bad pass. It's it's not a bad pass. It's just a bad, a really bad touch. And uh, <clears throat> it's going to be Cuckfield coming back the other way. Bold with the ball here on the left-hand side. The cross comes back in, but Freddie with safe hands will collect it without issue. And that's the end of the attack for Cuckfield Rangers. CLG back, Snicky. What they've got? They've got a great pass to Spaps. Spaps with it. Spaps, Spaps with the shot. Spaps with the tight angle goal. And Snicky has put Spaps in for his ninth of the season. A beautiful play from Snicky to hold up play. Look at this. Ferriel finds Snicky. Snicky here realizes he's got, or realizes that they've got three defenders closing them down. Spaps will take the hard angle shot. And somehow it's squeezed near and posed by Plant. And CLG are once again on the way to three points. They have a 2-0 lead here now in the second half. It is. Cookfield Rangers trying to pull one back here. No update to Bold nor Cole at Crawley Crobus 2 game just yet. And it is 53 minutes in here. That's a good cutout from Birmingham, but he can't get the loose ball. Bull has it. Gives it back here. Bull, uh, the, the shot, I should say, from Mansell is going to go off of Averiel, but Bull gives it to Peckham. And Peckham will take a shot. That deflects out for a corner, the second of the game for Cuckfield Rangers. Green with a good cross towards the far post. Peckham, it's knocked down, and it falls right to Ferrell's feet, about three feet in front of goal, three yards maybe in front of goal, and he will just clear it. So in their third corner, Green with it. Here's the ball, and it one goes way over. Hyde has to put it over, though. You have to be very careful. So the fourth attempt here now for Cuckfield. That one falls right in the spat, so clear it out. It'll be a, it'll be a throw in. But the attack is over. <clears throat> oh, Packham could be getting to this ball first. He's got one of the box. He's got a free. Mahan or Mahan, but it is cleared. Snicky, they have it now towards midfield. They've got one running or trying to make the run. Snicky, they're going to take the ball out wide. Powell will go for the run, uh, running player, but it's too late now. It will fall to Hepworth, and back come 
Cuckfield Rangers development. They have had four half chances, and it's Crudelli that's through this time. And Crudelli, can he get it? And no, Freddie gathers it up. The touch too heavy from Crudelli, and Freddie is there to deny the opportunity. A big chance going missing here for Cuckfield Rangers. Plant now with the retake of play. 59 minutes into the game. Falls to Birmingham, who will hit it wide. Davies here will have to pick it up here right towards the chalk. And Davies got it. And he, what can he do with it here? He's trying to close in towards the right-hand side. He'll give it back to Ferriel. Ferriel has options. Ferriel finds Snicky. What are they going to do? They're going to put Spaps in again. Spaps in a really good spot. That's a really good ball from Snicky. The cross comes back in. Davies will head it just off the side netting. And it is a goal kick once again. Bull. Chapman. Finding Packham. Is he off sides? Yes, he is. Drawn off. That's the end of the attack. So 16 minutes in. What do we have in terms of fatigue? Just looking at fatigue mainly. Uh... What can Tyndall do is the question. I don't know. We might we might move Snicky back to. Uh, well, we're gonna move Snicky back to here. And drop. Actually, we'll we'll uh, let's cancel and keep going here for a little bit, shall we? That's a good cross. Davies heads it clear. It only falls as far as hands. Does hands want to have a go? No. Chapman does, though. The flex off of Ferrio. It'll go out for a corner. More than likely, the first sub will be Tyndall coming on and Snicky moving back towards the attacking midfield center of Ferriol's currently playing. Green on the yellow here. To Mansell. Hands. Fidelli. Oh, Packham was led on sides, but Freddy's there to make the save. <clears throat> it's the end of the attack. The first shot on goal, first shot on target from Cuckfield Rangers so far this game. Freddy will restart play. 64th minute now. Spaps looking to head it down, but instead Mott gets to it, falls to Bull. Mayhun in center. Packham, Bull out wide here on the left. Bull looking for the cross. It's going to be closed down pretty heavily, but still manages to get across in. Jack cuts it out beautifully. And back to Spaps it goes. Spaps to Ferriel. Ferriel with options for Snicky. Snicky making the run. They have got a good run on the ball. They are on sides as well. Back to Spaps. Spaps has got space. Spaps takes it towards the byline. The cross comes in. Davies is a little late there, though. Nobody was there to make the run. Davies cross will go out for a corner. And we are 65 minutes into the game now. Hyde takes this corner. Mott will just knock it down. And he can, they can build off that. No pressure from CLG for it. It's kicked upfield, though. I'll knock it down. And now CLG come back the other way. Birmingham with it on the left-hand wing. Virial to Hyde. Hyde over to Davies. Davies now back to Hyde. Hyde has... Uh, Birmingham making the run with, as the wing back on the left-hand side. Birmingham makes the cross. And it's a really good cross. Spash is in a really good position. And Mott just has to shuffle it out of play. So corner number seven for CLG now. Davies to take it. Davies with a good ball. Center of the box. Lemon. And it just goes wide of the near post. We're going to move Ferriel. We're going to sub Ferriel out here. Tinder will come in. Snicky will slot back to the attacking midfield center. And Benny will, I will, not get clear for a corner. A free kick goes out for a corner. <clears throat> 68th minute. We've made our first sub. This map's looking pretty tight. He could be second. Still being needed here. Oh, that's a very good cross towards the far post. And they go out for a corner. Last off Powell. Peckham shot. 16 in attendance here today. Trying to find a win here for Counter-Logic Gaming. GG Arena. And Linfield. Mansell with the throw in. Peckham. Back to Mansell. It's a pretty stray ball though. Mansell has to go back pretty far to collect it. So we'll have to give it to Chapman. Chapman 
there's no real cross for it now. Mayhem tries, we'll have to play it back down left, actually. And Bull will go to collect it. And contend a, a little bit here. Back for Mott. Mott in a position where he could cross it in now. Has to play it forward to Bull, but there is Powell to cut it out. And now, you can see what you do. Get up the field, Spaps will knock it down for, for Tyndall. Very nicely done from Spaps because that ball looked like it was going, potentially going out. And somehow Powell got it up to him. Now the cross back for Spaps on the right hand side. Spaps making the run. Spaps has been brilliant so far this season. What can he produce? He produces a ball across the center. Sneaky was going for it. So was Tyndall. Play back here. Spaps could find him. It's going to go up in the air. It's knocked down. Spaps with the shot. And Spaps has scored the second, his second of the game. CLG are home and dry. Surely now. 3 0 on the stroke of 70 minutes. This ball came back to Spaps from Chapman's header. And Spaps just took it a one time right off the, the half volley. And that is. Going to find the far corner. That is CLG 3-0 to the lead. <clears throat> Spaps is on his hat trick. I don't want to sub him out. He's on his hat trick. So, I'll leave the game. Thornhill can come in. I will bring in Toyn again. Uh, yeah, we'll bring in Toyn. So, Toyn will come in for Haverio. Those are the changes we are making. <laughs> so restart from a free kick here Cuffield Rangers have 10 minutes to find something anything they are 3-0 down here at GG Arena ball out for Crudelli Lemons good. Jack's going to just shuffle it out under heavy pressure <coughs> So, the corner here for from Green. Green to take it. Green, center of the box. Ready had a wave at it. Goes out for another corner, though. Ninth of the game for Cuckfield. That one falls right to Spaps. He will head it clear. And now into the final 10 minutes before stoppage time. Davies has it. CLG still attacking. Tyndall with a very good run down the left-hand side. What can Tyndall do? Can he hold up play? He's going to have players joining him in the box. Tyndall, is he going to have players joining him in the box? No, he, look, he looks like he's going for a shot. And it's blocked and cleared out. Packham now has it for Cuckfield Rangers. And that will be the end of the attack here, end of the highlight at least. Birmingham restarts play. Davies has it. Back for Snicky. They've dropped deeper in midfield. Here's Tyndall. Tyndall here. Back for Snicky. They've given it. They went meant for Davies, but it's knocked down. And now Packham has it. Look at the hands under some pressure. And she will put a ball in over the top for Crudelli. Crudelli with a shot, and it goes high over the bar. <coughs> As they have wasted their chances this afternoon, Cuckfield Rangers. They've had quite a few of them. But not able to do much in terms of finishing. Now, Javier trying to put the ball in for Tyndall. Tyndall trying to run by his man. Tyndall has Tyndall going for the shot. Tyndall off the crossbar. It comes back in play. But Chapman will get his foot to it. He'll control it and send it back upfield. Can you believe it? Tyndall off the bar here late on in the game. Only a minute of stoppage time. Seconds remaining. Birmingham to Snicky. They will put it out for a goal kick. And surely that is going to be it. In fact, yes, it is. The whistle has gone for full time. The game is lagging for some reason, but that is full time at the GG Arena in Linfield. CLG 3 0 winners over Cuckfield Rangers development. The other big important note is that the Crawley Cobras are, uh, they have tied uh, AFC Bolnor. So it will be CLG 10 points clear at the top. What are we going to say for the, I don't know what's going on with FM. Uh, let's see if we can at least just get to the point where we saved the game. <laughs> so uh, I will say. I'm happy with the result and the way you played. Everybody looks delighted. We're going to continue to post-match analysis. 
It is 10 points clear after the draw between Crawley Crovers 2 and AFC Baltimore. 10 points clear at the top with just 7 to play. Very, very big margin. And uh, this late into the season. And looking to really take another step with another game before the Cup. So we do have uh, another Mid-Sussex Football League Division 9 game. Before we can resume with the cup competitions. Back to back versus AFC Bolnor in second place right now in the league. So the Crawl United game was first versus second. That was a big matchup. Another one just around the corner. AFC Bolnor in second place. And then we got to play him in the cup as well. So if Crawl United do not. If we beat Bolnor and really <laughs> any one of the four teams below Bol Bolnor. Crawley United, Crawley Cobras 2, West Hoathley 2, or Cuckfield Rangers Development do not win, uh, then we'll be 13 points clear. But that is a really good result. It has to be said. And 3 nothing. Very, very happy. And that is uh, the end of this episode of CLG FC. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with that game versus... Oh, God. Cord stuck on the mic. We'll be back with that game versus AFC Bolnor in the league next. Until then... Take care.